Dia handles groups slightly differently from the way it handles regular layers and I want to show you that in this video. So I have these two uh, rectangles here inside a group and the same thing on the other artboard. So I'm just going to connect this group to this one, the tab and same back over here. And um, if I do the preview, you will see that it does a little bit of a weird rendering. This is not what we expected because it's supposed to be um, moved this way rather than stretched out. And the reason is um, just to keep the animation faster and simpler, what Dia does is whenever it sees a group, it actually rasterizes the group. It flattens the entire group. So uh, when you want to work with the individual layers inside a group, you can tell Dia not to flatten these groups for you. So you click on the group and you see an option in the inspector called flatten group. So you uncheck that for this artboard and this artboard. And now we're going to rebuild and run the preview. And this time you'll see that it renders it correctly. So if you ever see in your uh, previews, if you see that the groups are not rendering the way you expect, then flatten group is an option that you might want to take a look at.